Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you a short and sweet tutorial since last week was extremely long and I don't know if you remember, it was worth it, but it was long. So this week I thought to share with you the little uh, bracelet cuffs that I created. They are super easy to make and so much fun. It takes very little material, just a little bit of scrap that you have, thin yarn about, I would say, a fingering yarn or sport DK yarn. I think I used a sport DK yarn, yes I did. And beading needles and beading of your choice or no beads at all actually. You can just make it plain. I made one plain and one with beads. So I will first show you how to create the one plain and then I'll show you how you can easily add beads. I am wearing the bead one right now. So very cute. So yeah, super excited for that. And if you are uh, in need of a little refresher for basic techniques, click the link down below. And I would love for you to join my little crochet family. And if you would like to get a new tutorial every week, then don't hesitate to subscribe right here. And yeah, that's it, short and sweet. So if you would like to learn how to create those beautiful little cufflinks, do you call it cufflinks or cuffs? Anyways, to scuff style bracelet, then keep on watching. In the meantime, happy crochet. For this tutorial, you will need a little bit of yarn, fingering yarn or comfort DK weight. You would need some scissors, a tapestry needle, a crochet hook, 225 millimeters, and some beads and beading needle. All right, take your crochet hook and make a slip knot. And then you're going to chain eight. And this will be the size of the closing of the cuff. There's going to be one on each side of your arm. And in between there's going to be a chain. Now for the chain, chain 29. That's what I needed to fit my wrist but of course you adapt it to your wrist. Count the chain that fits around your wrist. We are adding eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one extra. Then in the second chain from your hook, you're going to single crochet. And then you're going to single crochet in the next seven chains. In total, you're going to have eight single crochets and that will be one side of your cuffs closing where you will host your button and your buttonhole so really simple your cuff consists on a side that is single crochet a chain in the middle and another side so here you go chain 29 and that is your second row Count eight stitches from the end of the chain that you had made before, your first row, and single crochet in the eight last stitches, making sure not to twist your chain so it's straight from one side to the next. Three, 
four, Six, seven, and in the last stitch, your eighth single crochet. This is what your work will look like. Don't worry if the first chain, row of chain is a little slouchy. It doesn't matter. It will stretch out when you put it together. Chain one, turn your work around and make eight single crochets. This is your third row. And then chain 29 again. Oop! <laughs> there was a ball passing by. Crazy yarn rolling. This is what your third row will look like. And again, you will single crochet in the eight last stitches, creating the second side of your cuffs closure. Alright, you are done with your third row now. You're going into chain one, turn your work around and let's work on the fourth row. And for the fourth row, we will create a little opening for your button, a little button hole. And to do that, it's very simple. You're going to single crochet in the two first stitches and you're going to chain three, skip three stitches and single crochet in the three last stitches. And just like that, you created a little, a little nest for your button. A little buttonhole. And again, you're going to chain 29. And you guessed it, when you reach the eight last single crochets, you single crochet in them and that will be it for your fourth round see how easy it is such a pleasure and then you're going to chain one turn your work around and make eight single crochets your little cuff side is taking shape. On this side, we're going to sew the button. Since we created the buttonhole on the other side, chain 29 again. And to finish your fifth row, now you're going to single crochet three times. So in the three stitches. And then you're going to make three single crochet in that um, chain three from the previous row where we had skipped those stitches to create the buttonhole. All right, that's it. Three single crochets and then single crochet in the two last stitches. And voila, just like that, you finished your fifth row. Chain one, turn your work around. So you're going to make eight single crochets Look at this pretty buttonhole. And that's your sixth row. And you're going to chain 29. And then you're going to single crochet in the eight last stitches. And you can continue like that for as many rows as you wish. My cuff is going to be seven rows 
wide, but you could make it narrower or larger. You are the boss of your crochet. You are going to fasten off, take your tapestry needle, and you're going to take your tapestry needle and you are going to choose one side which will be the back of your bracelet and now you are going to use the loose tail to sew in your little button but first sew in till you meet the middle of your little rectangle and then in the middle of that little um, eight single crochet seven row cuff you're going to sew your button in i chose this adorable wooden um, button but you can choose whatever button you would like i'm going to just sew it in basic stitch And then I'm going to do one sewing point in the back to secure it and make a knot. And then, um, yeah, that's it. Cut it with my scissors. Sew, the, sew in the loose tail on the other side of my cuff, in the back of the bracelet. Make a knot and cut and you are done with your first cuff super simple yet really pretty you see how i um stretch it and it doesn't sag at all it's really the perfect size here you go absolutely lovely super cool and i'm going to show you how to add beads to the exact same bracelet which i think adds a super cute touch so here are the beads and the material you will need, very very easy. You will just need, on top of the material for the regular bracelet, you will need a beading needle. Here you go. This is one that I purchased at my craft store. So before you begin to crochet your cuff, you're going to bead in, uh, oh, I bead in about 60 beads just to make sure because I did not know at the beginning how many beads I would need so to make sure I had enough I put about 60 so count how many beads you want in your bracelet and then add a few just in case here you go and once all your beads are on your string take your crochet hook take that bead ne beading needle <laughs> take that beading needle off take your crochet hook make a slip knot and you're going to begin the cuff exactly the same way as for the one without the beads so one two three four five six seven eight and that will be one side of your cuff then you're going to do one extra chain and you're going to grab the little bead one little bead from your yarn put it snugly at the base of your crochet and just continue to crochet like that make three chains just make sure the bead is snuggle pinch it with your your fingers and continue make three chains and you see now the bead is incorporated as easy as that and take another bead and put it snugly there at the base of your crochet and chain three again and you're going to repeat that until you have 10 beads in total on your chain What do you think? It's really not hard, right? And it looks so fancy and complicated. It's really impressive, I'm telling you. You're going to make those cuffs 
and people are going to think that you are a crochet wizard. <laughs> Look how pretty it looks. Still in my favorite colors, kind of aqua or green and topish sand color. There is a pattern here. I counted eight beads, I have to add a few more and you add as many as you need to fit the size of your wrist. And once you have reached the size of your wrist, you're going to make eight chains after the last bead. Add one chain and then single crochet in the second chain from your hook, exactly the same way we did for the basic cuff without the beads. So here you go, you're going to crochet seven more times after the first time in the second chain from the hook, creating that eight single crochet side of your cuff where we will host the button or the buttonhole. And I decided that I would alternate one chain with beads and one chain without, but you can do whatever you feel like doing, of course. So for my yeah, second row, it's just going to be a chain, 29 for me, and then single crochet in the eight last stitches of that first chain we had made at the base. You know the drill. OMG, these beads look so cute. I really like it. Can you imagine all the combinations of colors you could do? All right, for your third row, chain one and turn your work around. Eight single crochets and then the next chain is going to be a chain where you incorporate your beads again. And it's as simple as that. Don't forget at the beginning of your chain, so once you're done with your eight single crochets, just chain one and then grab your first bead. And then chain three and put another bead there. Chain three and put the same amount of beads that you had put at your first row. And that's what you're going to do, you got it. So you do it for as many rows as you want, remember? Don't forget to create the buttonhole on one side of your cuff closing, one side of the eight single crochets. And if you decide to make it wider, I would still make the opening in the middle. So let's say you make 10 uh, rows, I would probably make the opening at the fourth row. Do you know what I mean? So it's at the middle. But anyway, we are done, that is it. And I absolutely love this cuff. I think it is really, really cool. And it's very light. You don't feel it when you wear it. And yeah, easy. You see, it doesn't take any yarn at all. You can do it with scraps. You can, again, as usual, possibilities are endless. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I surely did creating it for you and i'm looking forward to many more and in the meantime happy cuff crocheting Mwah. hey look at last they are together hey this is how i'm going to wear them what do you think mm. This is Anno and welcome back to my channel. So I created this beautiful gypsy vest for my daughter and I loved it so much that I decided I would share it with you guys. It is made for a size 8 to 10 and super easy to make. The idea is that it is created around a mandala pattern. Mandala means that you begin in the center, crochet in the round and grow outward. And it's basically a big circle and um, that I uh, added two armholes and then continue out and out and out.